let's uh, get into how do you get Amazon Alexa on your actual Android device. Now keep in mind, if you're on iPhones, iPads, then you might be able to do this. You just need to write applications. So let's jump on in. First things first is this is the web portal. All of this will be down below, so you can check out the links. But it's this web portal, we're going to get into this in a bit. This is the main application you will need. If you're on Android, I will leave a link down below. Check it out. See if you can install it. If you can install it, great. You can actually test out the Echo feature. Keep in mind that some Amazon Alexa devices, they actually have a screen on it. And this is where the others, other links will come in play. But with that one in mind, this will basically mimic the Echo uh, pr pretty well. And also note that it actually has out of features where it can actually do wake up commands for Hey Alexa or Hey Echo or Hey Reverb or then th there's a few others. So note that. Now, as far as this, the next link, this is a um, application that Amazon put out. It's basically like their web portal. You can go either. I, I highly suggest to just download this and use that uh, when you can. Because basically what, what happens here is whenever you use the voice assistant feature, since you don't have a screen here and this is mimicking the Echo itself, all the information is going to show up here. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But on top of that, you're able to do settings and all the other stuff into this area. So it's worthwhile noting that. It's easier if you use the the actual application over anything else. So that's something to note. So as far as that goes, to uh, show an example of this with, uh, with, with this particular application so you know how to use it, I'm just pulled up on my phone and let's ask us a simple question. What is 2 times 2? multiplied by 2 is 4. So simple as that and you can see that the thing came up here and it says what it thinks it heard and if it was right and remove a card and whatever it be. So we're going to get a little bit more deeper and ask it to buy something. Buy batteries. Okay, I can look for sizes like double A. What would you like? Double A. If you wish to shop and get my exclusive deals, please enable voice purchasing in your Alexa app. For now, should I add AA to Craig's Amazon cart? No. All right. Check your Alexa app for more options. And there you go. It basically, it uh, thinks I wanted that. Even though, you know, it would have been better if it gave me some options, whatever, but it wouldn't end up buying that if I allowed it. Oh, and uh, for the smart home thing, I forgot to mention. Well, here's an example that's a wash. Hey, Google. Set my desk light to blue. Okay, changing the desk light to blue. Set my desk light to white. Okay. See, it controls it just as well, as long as you can connect it and whatever. And some people might say, well, Amazon has skills. In Google, it's called shortcuts. Now, uh, with that one in mind, I also want to lastly note that all of these products are stupid at the end of the day. If you ask it um, certain terms, they simply won't know how to answer and uh, they're very strict by the numbers type of things. They might be able to uh, uh, get around some of the things that you're saying. Like if you phrase it this way or that way, they might be able to get around. But for the most part, um, they're very, it's, it's very chat box. Like, so that's something to note in to itself. We're not um, anywhere near tricking someone to think that it's, almost like a human on either side. It's nowhere near that level with any of these. But with that one in mind, hopefully this has answered some questions and helped some people out. But uh, see you next video. Hope you have a great day.